wonderful view all around the globe. You're welcome to Celestial Weekly Variety Show. My name is Sister Temida Ori Moguchi. And raise your hands if you still haven't subscribed to the channel. Come on, it's free. You don't have to pay for that. So simply click subscribe on your phone and you have subscribed to our channel. Guess what? You can afford to miss the amazing prizes on this show. So, Angel Cobra is always on this show giving prizes. So, if you are not there, I mean, if you haven't subscribed, fuck me, you're wrong. So, today, we'll, I welcome you to the second episode of Celestial Weekly Variety Show. This is an interesting program that brings to you three delicious and celestial world quizzes, prize giveaways, and teaching by two personnel, I mean intelligent personnel who've got interesting teachings, interesting and most interesting inspiring teachings on this channel. So today's show kicks off with a music rendition from one of our French brothers, Sam, brother Sam Kukwake. Enjoy it. <laughs> Ali Jie We go Gede Nando Wazo Eton Ali E go Mete Manue Di ma Mo Do Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome. 
welcome to Celestial Weekly Review, yes, where we discuss trading issues in the Celestial World. Yes. My name is Brother Mokbola Mayola. Here with me is Sister Maria Akinusi. You are welcome. Thank you. Definitely welcome. Yes. Churches in Ogun State have reopened. Mm. Since the lockdown has been imposed on 22 mm. March. Serious, it's been five good months now. It's so good to be back to church. You don't know. That's a whole lot. Ah, it's been five months. Wow. But seriously, I'm, I'm so happy to be in church. Don't be so happy. Why? Because churches still have to follow government strict protocols. Exactly now. The social distancing. The mask. So even when I'm dancing, I have to be adjusting my nose mask. And don't worry, but at least we are in church. You know now. One step at a time. The so, flow will not be, you understand? Know, well, what I'm just saying is, it's still so good to be back to church. Definitely. Thank yes. God we are all back to church. Yes. Like, thank God. You said it like you were in church last week. Yes, of course. So, how was the attendance and everything there? Mm, actually, the turnout was low, but I think people are being scared of the virus, one, or they are being lazy. It's something I like because in my church, too, there was low attendance. You know, you know what? We have gotten used to these visual services, that is the online services. Okay. So some people are just being like, let's just stay on Jare and do the online mm. service. Why some people are being lazy, most especially people. No, churches abroad are still doing only online services. Even in Nigeria, yeah, they are doing online service because everybody can't be in church at the same time. Okay. You understand? If we really want to adhere to the social distancing order, okay. So everybody can't be in church at the same time. Some people are at home, why some people are in church? So while we are doing the physical service in church, some people are doing the visual service at home. So now that's the reason why you feel people are not in church on mm -hmm. Sunday. And some people are being lazy. Mm. Yes, now. Uh, have you asked you, are you saying uh, have you asked you are lazy? I'm not saying you are lazy. Okay. If you are not lazy, let us know in the comment section below why were you not in church on Sunday? And if you were in church, what were you inspired? How was the service and all that? Yes. And me, I'm saying, oh, oh, oh you can never be lazy. All me, I'm saying is, maybe you were not in church because you were discouraged by the government street protocols. Are you scared of the coronavirus? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can't say that uh -huh. so easy, that you know that you know that you let us know in the comment section below. Talking about government street protocols, um, Church of the Republic of Benin has been ordered not to sing Jerry Moyama. Why? And by who? By Reverend um, Adi Ogun. I'm kind of wondering why too, as you asked. Uh -huh. Because to be a reverend is not an easy thing. Yes. So anything that is coming from reverend, you understand? I'm so I'm kind of wondering, you see the, um, the direction from the Holy Spirit, Abi, he just feel it is right for him. I just feel it would be the, the, the best place to answer it because... Actually, the church is the church of the spirit. Okay. And he that must worship in his... Must, must worship in spirit, spirit and in truth. truth. Thank so you. So we really want to know the truth about the spirit. Oh. If if he's actually coming from the spirit, spirit. Yeah. we are not trying to say what you said is wrong, sir. But Definitely we want not. to know why we are actually taking that kind of step. Decision. Decision. Yes. You understand? Yes. Because um, I'm kind of I'm thinking that. Anything you are deciding, especially for Celestial Church of Christ, then which we know that Celestial Church of Christ wasn't formulated by human understanding. By God, yeah. It was all formulated by God. Yes. So it was even stated in one of our songs that Jesus Christ was telling Papa Shofa that a job be more or show more. Yes. You understand? Yes. That means it's precious to Jesus Christ himself. himself. You understand? So any decision we are making, we don't have the right. To make, especially for Celestia, to make it all, especially in our other services. So we really want to know, sir. We are not trying to say you are wrong. Hey, hey. In your position, but we really want to know. Because we are leaders right. of tomorrow. Yeah. So that we and as youth of the truth. church, we want to know the right thing. Hey, we want hey. to know the true doctrine of the church and the true ordinance of the church. So that we will not get there and maybe remove both Christian values. Nobody wants to. Ah, you never can tell, you understand? Hey, hey. Oh, if Jerry Muyama can be removed, how much more Aves? Aves can be cancelled too. Because Aves is just one time for the year. It's part of the pillar. Did of you the imagine church. that Jerry Muyama can be removed? Ah, no, he's not even possible. Why will you be in church? Why exactly. will I be in church and you're telling me no Jerry Muyama? How, how do you expect me to? Same thing with Aves. Aves can be cancelled. No, Aves can be cancelled because people have been doing their Aves actually. Okay. But they don't. The only difference is that instead of me inviting my family and friends mm -hmm. physically, okay. I invite them visually you are your gang. online. You okay. understand? Family so, members. Yes. 
And the most okay. important thing in, in the harvest is the service, the full congregational service oh, sure. and the thanksgiving. Oh, so sure. if your church is holding your harvest anytime soon, just make sure you are at the church for the full service and you also come with your thanksgiving. That's the most important thing. Yeah, because Don't worry, now we still have so many years to celebrate together. To so. party and all that. Yes. But right now, we all need to even appear before God to thank God because it's not easy to survive this whole coronavirus right. pandemic thing. Five it's not easy. Five, five good months. You have to up. Thank God for life. Thank God. Yes. Thank God for yes. life. So, um, the McCall uh, convocation can be removed. Right. Even, I, I can't even wait to see you as a McCall. As Virginia. important as anointment is, so, so is, is the Christmas convocation at the McCall. That's why we go to McCall now. Definitely. The so, if if you you don't appear there, it just means the whole year isn't complete. So, our viewers. We can't wait to see you at the Jesus, you understand? Convocation Talk about trading. 2020. Uh-uh. Trading is oh, you understand? It's not just, you know, you. we just talk, you know, we, we share, talk, you, know, you understand? Share so that you Sister know. Maria will not just be giving me opinions about that, you understand? So you can only tell me. Seriously, I can't wait to see you at the Mecca. Our viewers, see you at the Mecca 2020. 2020. On social media, members of CCC Calvary Parish One refused the removal of the shepherd. Really? Venerable Superior Evangelist Online MPIC. So, why would they refuse the removal of their shepherd? Basically, they might have some reasons. Mm, but if they still have reasons, the pastors still have the final decision to make. And if they have any reason contrary to what the pastor has said, yes. then they need to make it official. To the pastor, According and to even if the even even if that's why the fact that their reason is so paramount or so important to yeah. them, the pastor still has the final and decision. Because according to what's stated in section one one five four celestial constitution, okay. the pastors have the decision to make as regarding transferring of shepherds. Shepherd. So for the members and the parochial not to sound or become rebellious. It would be good for them to make their opinions known to the, to the shepherd, pastor, uh, to the pastor, pastor yes. because um, the decision the pastor is also making is for their own good. Yes, yes. So um, they should make their opinions known so that um, they cannot sound uh, rebellious. Or rebellious. Um, anyway, there should I think um, to me, okay, to me there should be um, a fixed time for shepherds. Okay, that's a fixed tenure, right? A fixed tenure, okay. yes, for shepherd in each parish. So, for instance, in the church, if I'll be using two years okay. in the church as okay. a transferred shepherd, okay. after the two years, if my two years, if my tenure will be extended, okay. then it will be, it will depend on the spirit okay. or on, on the, the pastor's, pastor's decision. Yeah, yeah, right. Yes, now, on you the pastor's are, decision. Now, now you're right. So, so, at least there should be an administration for that. Everybody will know in mind that, okay, this is my solo tenure. Except if the spirit said, even as regarding the spirit, the, spirit, the pastor, the pastor should have the final decision because we have to respect our constitution. Yes, yes. At the end of the day, but am I the only one noticing that it is only in Nigeria that uh, there is transfer of shepherd, unlike UK and US? Uh, you know, in the UK and the US, mostly we have the landlord shepherd okay. parishes. Those over who there. have built a parish themselves. And it's not possible for you to just come to my church, you understand? Oh, no, no, no. And, and say you want to transfer mm -hmm. me because I built the church. No, okay. So, and in Nigeria, I think what we need most is um, the referism of our shepherd. So when we have proper referring for them, even when we are transferring our shepherds to other parishes, yes, they rest sure. assured yeah. that their welfare is covered. So they don't have any reason to say no, I'm not leaving this parish, in respect to where you are transferring them to. Even yes. even if we have the effective administrations mm -hmm. that can establish more churches, even in US and UK, that would help and to also take care of the welfare of the shepherds and um, the workers. The workers of it will give uh it will help the workers and the shepherds to be able to focus more on working for God yes. and not to cater out because because they are waiting for taking care of so and if we have effective administration that can also establish more churches abroad like it will be like the pastor will have more um the pastor will be able to transfer shepherd at his own will. 
because the most important thing now is that the shepherd we have on ground let have them administrate sure that, that we cater think... for their welfare because their referring them is important, important. Yes. Serious is because, important. Uh, because we need to know them we need to know their family how they live how they eat all these things so if the shepherd is being taken care of then whenever the sh a shepherd is called to be transferred to another party. Easily. You won't be bothered. You yeah. understand? Because transferring shepherd, a lot of reasons yes. have to be put in place. Like a lot of um, points have to be put in place. The family, the wife, the children's schools and all that. All that. A lot of things. So not to just... And I kind of feel your opinion is also right that about the tenure thing. Yes, yes. Well, um, uh, it's our opinion. It's our opinion. So and it should be good if they can put it into consideration. Yes. But I kind of feel Celestia, actually, we need good administration. Yes, yes. We so need good administration. If we have good administration, then we have less concern about transferring of shepherds. Shepherd. Even the shepherd will be able to go to another uh, church. And, and the so pastor glad. will be able to transfer people at his own will. Yes. 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 So, we'll be right back. Right back. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. Apparently, um, Reverend EMF for Shepherd mm -hmm. had a meeting at Meko. <laughs> so presented and the pastors and the shepherds rather, of the CCC. And he stated that all ministries, mm -hmm. all ministries should be closed. I said this. <laughs> when I heard that the pastor had a meeting at Meko, I know something serious is coming up. Said all ministries, all ministries should be closed. this close down. And he stated that. The, the, the church was given to Papa or Shepherd as a church, church. and as and not as a ministry. Yes, not we don't need the last time that our pastor is a listening father. Yes, you can see now all ministry closed down because now after what he has said, it has become due for punishment. If you open yes. your ministry out of her, yes, yes. don't yes. say okay. And now looking at it, we have ministries everywhere. Everywhere, we have ministries on Facebook, everywhere, we have on Instagram, we have. WhatsApp, we have ministries of WhatsApp. Can you imagine? So now, if, and the pastor stated that if you really want to work for God, uh -huh. he really calls you to work in the system for, yeah. he has to go to Imeko for due registration as a worker of the church. Then from there, you start your work. Mind Instead you, of opening a ministry. Mind you, most of those ministries are being opened by Iranqa leaders. Now, the administration that we will put in place to enforce what uh, the pastor has said. said are still this iron leaders. How would this man? Because I'm kind of feeling at the end of the day, mm -hmm. what leads most people to open ministry is because maybe because they are they not you understand. Mm -hmm. Let me assume that. So that is why good administration needs to be put in place in So let's so start. Have to back to the you know, of our shepherds. They've been taken care of. So after they have been taken care of and they are not still following the due directives, mm -hmm. then they are due for punishment. Yes, yes. Because in as much as we are trying to um, Put down um, guidelines. We should also do our duties. You understand? Know, that comes to with fair reason and good administration. You understand? Uh -huh. Now looking at the um, CCC logo okay. and other logo. Mm -hmm. Now I've seen that whenever people want to like do talk the about harvest. their program or yeah. do the harvest, they bring out the CCC logo at one side. and their own logo. So at I'm looking side. at it. How how is that correspond? Which one are you promoting? Which one are you promoting? Are you promoting, are you promoting the CCC? Or yourself. So if you want, brand. if you want to have any brand outside of the CCC, then you can just open that and leave the CCC logo outside. Of it. Open your own church. So open I will know that this is your church. And this, and this is your, is your own, own church. This is your own. You logo. can do anything you like. But when you are putting the CCC logo, you should know that you should adhere to all instructions that is abide with the that that the pastor yes. okay. Now according to what the pastor said in the meeting too. Now for the harvest. The only picture that should be there should be a picture of Papa Shosha. But if you choose who, mm -hmm. you can put that of uh, Pastor EMF. Except from that, no shepherd picture there. No shepherd uh, picture. Only celestial logo. Uh, and Pastor you see so. shepherd and white picture. Uh, 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 uh. We have the founder. Put the founder's picture. No more, no more. Even if you don't want to put any picture, let the logo of Celestia Church be there. We understand it. Yes. Those are the people that uh, they gave the Celestia Church to. And that is what the pastor um, I said. I said. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to say there. Yes. So, thank you very much. Without being shared.
We we'll like to have your opinions in our comment section. Yes. Thanks for watching Celestial Weekly Review. Um, don't forget to check out our other amazing videos. I'm sure you will like it. Yes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, subscribe. with family and friends. Mm -hmm. In God we trust. Thank stay you. happy and stay willing. I Hallelujah! the studio well done how presenters well done well done well done this reminds me of the song by apostle remiola banji that says um i me but baby i should bear a lot i me but baby or show for she we take a shake that is to say we're already forgetting the way we're taught by papa or chauffeur so we really need to return to go we really need to return Yes, there is a need for returning. Oh, yes, next on this show is the Angel Gabriel session. Yes, this is time for prize giveaway. Yes, and on this show today, we'll be throwing out a question right now. So, the question for this session is How many tenants were ordained by the Holy Spirit that members of Celestial Church of Christ should observe? How many tenants were ordained by the Holy Spirit that members of Celestial Church of Christ should observe? A. 3 B. 7 C. 10 D. 12 How many tenants were ordained by the Holy Spirit that members of Celestial Church of Christ should observe? Option A says 3 Option B says 7 Option C says 10 and option D says 2. Simply send your answer to the comment section on this video and we'll get back to you. And this goes up for a cash prize of 10,000 Naira to the lucky winner. Yes, and your girlfriend is going to give 10,000 Naira to the lucky winner on this. from London. You know, I sang earlier, I said the song by Apostle Remiola Banji says, I see me but baby I should bear a lot of girls. I see me but baby I should bear a lot of girls. I see me but baby I should bear a lot of girls. At the me God baby I should bear a lot of girls. Yes, this takes us to the teaching. Um, topic by brother of Lamy Josiah that says ask for the old path. So uh, bringing on right now this program, brother of Lamy Josiah for the teaching. Stay with us. Hallelujah. We thank God Almighty for His goodness and mercy, which has brought us all to communicate through this medium at this time. I pray wherever we may be, the God of Celestial will not leave us alone in Jesus' name. We want to share in his word. We want to understand him the more. Let's look at the book of Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16. It reads, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Many people may disregard this text and not see the importance of what the message that Jeremiah is delivering to the people of Israel. But for anyone who is truly interested and concerned with his place in the kingdom, he also should be truly interested and concerned with what the Lord is saying. Here the Lord says, ask for the old paths. 
the old paths. Why the old paths? What is the significance of the old path? Today, the world is not looking for what is old. Today, everyone is looking for new advancements. So what, what's the specific thing in the old paths? Again, Solomon would speak in the book of Proverbs and refer us back to these old paths. Listen to what he says. Remove not the ancient landmark which thy fathers have set. Again, our hymns will even speak and echo the same message. A war I want is shadu, one fee a me feba me be. When we look back, when we take a step to look back, those who were with God, anything that was good in God was in obedience. God saw that what he did on the earth was good. Because the earth he did to the commandment of God. He called. He said that the, the tree should bring forth. He said that the waters be divided. The earth he did the call. Obedience is what kept man. Is what sustains life from the beginning. Adam, when he was in life, was in full obedience to the instruction. Touch not that fruit. Rather, eat not that fruit even. But the moment he, he transgressed and deviated from that singular instruction, he was no longer reckoned to be amongst men. The goodness in him was gone. Any man, therefore, who will be in good must know the old path. The old path is the way of obedience. Not like the new methodology that the devil brought. The new methodology he brought to, the, to Eve in the garden. To the woman in the garden. He asked her, Did God say thou shalt not eat? She heeded the call. She fell into the trap and was beguiled. That began a new trajectory in sin for mankind. Man lost the good. What well, God is calling out to us today. Any man who will be sustained by him, any man that will live in him, will live in obedience to what he said. Don't say that God's word is extinct. It's expired. It's gone. That was yesterday. No. God's word lives. It's unto the ends of the earth. It is beyond you. His word doesn't go back void. If he spoke it yesterday, it's the same yesterday, today, forevermore. But will you be a partaker in his word? More so, will you be a partaker in the benefits of God? If yes, fantastic. Heed his instruction. Go back. What did he give you? How did he bring you to know him? How did you get to where you are? May God bless us and teach us all his way. In Jesus' name, we pray. Oh, that was beautiful from Mother Fulabi. Thank you so much, our every brother. That was very insightful. I really learned from that. Yes, that was interesting. So today, we'll go to the next segment on this show. Guess what, Angel Gabriel, on this show, we decided to come to us. And this is the second coming. Fam, you can't afford to miss the second coming of Angel Gabriel on this show right now. He's giving up prizes, prizes, amazing giveaway. So the next prize goes to that person, that one person that would go to our Instagram page watch our video and tag seven people for a chance to win 10 gig data but guess what strictly four viewers from nigeria alone mm -hmm. so right now you go to our instagram page watch our latest video our latest video and tag seven people seven seven people our latest video for a chance to win 10 gig data plan for a month 
we come to the end of today's program special thanks to almighty god who made this program possible and special thanks to all those who made this program possible as well we say a very big thank you to you all our viewers around the globe we love you don't forget to share subscribe comment like and follow at Celisa weekly on all social media platforms and on youtube channels we love you so till we meet next time i remain your host stay me down your own rooms may the lord continue to be with his church i love you